Top of Sam's list, the dress. So it's off to a posh boutique in Chelsea. Oh, a little bit of a flower on the back, all right, isn't it? And it's not just money that's an issue. How do you buy a dress for a woman who isn't there? She likes sparkly stuff. <sighs> He's persuaded a fellow nurse, who he thinks is roughly Katie's size, to model for him. You know what? I've no idea what I'm supposed to be looking for. I should know what Katie wants, because she's been talking about it for over a year. <laughs> but I've done my usual and kind of switched off a bit when she's talking about the wedding. I would really like two different styles and two different dresses and two different venues, which is totally spoilt, but uh, <laughs> I have to do everything bigger and better, don't I? Actually, what, I think because we want two themes, one for the actual ceremony and one for the evening, but I think I'm going to be struggling really with funds to do that, to be honest with you. Katie's always liked dressing up and I think she will see this wedding day as her chance to shine, the, the biggest day of any bride's life. But she will relish the idea of dressing up and being the centre of attention for that day. Well, I thought I had an idea, but to be honest with you, now I've seen all these dresses, I don't know. Mm. It's a little bit um, like being snow blind, isn't it? It is, actually, yeah. yeah. If I feel that the dress is horrible or it doesn't flatter my figure, there, there could be tears. Yep, go for it. Dress number one is a snip at £2,000. Maybe. I'll have a look at another one, though. The next dress goes up to two and a half thousand pounds. That looks more wedding -y, definitely. Yeah. This experience is really odd. Well, I just it is a bit because it's a woman's job. Yeah, isn't exactly. It? <laughs> and dress number three. Well, that that looks nice. That does look nice, actually. <laughs> just a little question then. How <laughs> <are> <laughs> well, have you picked one of the most expensive dresses in the shop? Probably, yeah. Yes. And this one is about three thousand. Have you got anything a little bit cheaper? The only dress Sam liked was a thousand pounds more than he budgeted. He has to hope he can save money on the bridesmaids outfits. How's it going? Hello Gemma. <laughs> He's invited the bridesmaids, Hayley and his sister Gemma, down from Leicester to meet him at a chain store in Oxford Street. Come on out ladies, see Come what on. you look like. It's, it's not the right colour, basically. <laughs> Good at 12 for me. Come on, I'm one foot. <laughs> that's perfect. You know I think that's good. I think well. it's really flattering as well. Yeah. Just out of interest, how much are they? They've just gone into sale. Oh, they so into sale. the skirt's down from 150 to 75. Perfect. These are really nice. I really like this. That is. I'm liking that. The bridesmaids are happy, but it's what Katie will think that matters. I'm a bit worried that these bridesmaid dresses are going to be a bit too showy, you know? And they're going to like mean that Katie's not going to stand out as much as she could do. I'm just making this complicated. Let me go and have a word and just see what she reckons. Yeah. Right. Change of plan. Just possibly. I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to get you to try some of the dresses on. Why? Because I really, really love this dress. So do I. These are absolutely gorgeous. G give me your reasoning behind it. I can't, I can't give you a reason right now. But just trust me. You can stop looking at me like that. <laughs> we've got to wear these dresses, Sam, and we've got to feel comfortable in them. Yeah. And we do. We feel very comfortable in these. You might also feel comfortable in these ones as well. This one. I am not wearing this dress. Why not? Because it's yellow. Let's have a look. Let it me... is awful. You're not looking happy, Ailey. You put me in things that make me look like a fat banana. Katie would hate to have yellow. Just choose what you want, I'll wear whatever you want, but don't expect me to be happy about it. It's important that I don't feel stressed on my wedding day. I know it's not exactly what you want, but for the day, and it is Katie's day at the end of the day, isn't it? Mm. I really want to be able to just concentrate on the fact that I'm getting married and it's a really happy day. Lots of smiling.
I don't think Katie will like it. I don't think it's what she's expecting. I'm worried he's getting it all wrong. I thought this would be a lot easier than this. I don't want to think about the dress for Katie at all. If she reacts like these two are reacting now. Ah. <sighs>